Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, Ms. Aisha Manzoor, and you are watching my channel, Chemistry Solutions. So today in this lesson, you people will be able to describe the action of heat on metal carbonates. So all of these reactions will be discussed on the basis of their reactivity series. So as we have already described about this uh, reactivity series, that the most reactive metals are the above one. So reactivity increases as we move up. So most reactive metals are here, moderate and then least reactive just at the below of this reactivity series. Now after having a look on this reactivity series, we will move towards their carbonates. So very reactive carbonates like potassium and sodium carbonates, there will be the no effect of heat on these carbonates. They are stable to heat. But whereas we are going to talk about the calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate, zinc carbonate, iron carbonate, lead carbonate, till copper carbonate, all of these carbonates behave similarly when we are going to provide them heat. Whenever we are going to heat these carb calcium carbonate, what they will form? They will form, they will thermally decompose, means therm means heat. After providing heat, when this compound will broken down into its components, then we will say that this is the thermal decomposition. So this compound will decompose into two parts, metal oxides and carbon dioxide gas. So rest of all carbonates will behave likely just like this. Okay. Magnesium carbonate, again when we will heat, it will form metal oxide, magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. Similarly, zinc carbonate, will, when we will heat it strongly, it will produce zinc oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Iron carbonate, when we will heat it, it will produce metal oxide, that is iron oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Lead carbonate, after heating, gives lead oxide and carbon dioxide gas. And then copper carbonate, when, when we will heat this compound, copper oxide and carbon dioxide gas will produce. Whereas if we will talk about the silver carbonate, then decomposes into silver and carbon dioxide on heating. We are not going to uh, uh, get uh, silver oxide. When we will heat this silver carbonate, it is going to give us silver metal plus carbon dioxide gas. So, these are the reactions which we have uh, written here, which I have written here to show you how these carbonates are going to produce the carbon dioxide gas as well as metal oxides. So, this is the way through which we can describe the action of heat on metal carbonates. So, now we are going to do a question based on the past papers. So, here is a question. Group 2 carbonates decompose on heating. The temperature at which some group 2 carbonates decomposes are given below. This is the data which is given here. Which one of these carbonates is least likely to decompose on heating? Barium carbonate 1360 degree centigrade, calcium carbonate 900 degree centigrade, magnesium carbonate 540 degree centigrade, strontium carbonate 1280 degree centigrade. Now the question is which one of these carbonates is least likely to decompose, which doesn't like to decompose easily on heating. So that was 1360, that is barium carbonate. It is taking a lot of heat to decompose. So the very least uh, least likely to decompose on heating is the barium carbonate. Remember one thing. More reactive metals will form more stable compounds. More stable compounds means difficult to decompose them. So as the react more the reactive metal more stable compound more time will be taken more temperature will be taken to decompose them describe how the thermal stability of these carbonate changes with the reactivity of the metal so as we are going to describe the changes what will be the effect 
more reactive the metal more stable the compound more reactive metal more stable the compound more stable carbonate so these are very important point from the examination point of view you have to practice all of these questions and learn it properly practice is the key of success signing off miss aisha manzoor